have some added perks. Disruptor, you don't normally see this hero getting to a very late stage in the game, but we do need to remember he's got some very interesting level 25 talent. I think in particular, the minus 10 second cooldown on the glimpse, meaning that these team fights, he's going to continuously glimpse people. VGJ is... Uh both supports scale so much better, and I was never a big fan of uh, uh, support duo, uh, those who are position uh, four, actually, or, I mean, Undying is four slash five, but uh, because you rely so much on winning the lanes, and if that, that doesn't go right, if Earth Spirit misses a couple of uh, rolls, uh, then you're in a bad position. Both of these heroes have no, nothing to actually shove up the waves, uh, and uh, no, they, they can't farm, that, that's gonna be a problem. If they lose the laning stage, EG is gonna lose this game. Yeah, and now they're going to round that with the Nyx Assassin, so just yet another kind of melee utility hero. Uh, the Death Prophet, I, I wonder if it might actually end up being... Okay, no, so it's actually safe on Medusa. I thought Medusa might be heading mid this game, and maybe the Death Prophet would get sent to a side lane, but it looks like it is just going to be Medusa in her kind of natural habitat in the, the safe Not successful in that, but either way, Salve committed already. Mana burn level one. I feel like... Nyx mid was a thing back when Invoker was a topic. We often saw this Nyx go mid with stout shield, spam mana burn, and just be like a pseudo Invoker counter. This is a kind of a similar concept in my mind. Yep. Top lane rolling right on Silar. Not sure it's going to get the kill. Great body block on Silar. Silar is going to give up the first blood. Misery will pick it up. Earth Spirit and Undying, these are two of the best uh, supports to dominate the laning stage. And that's exactly what EG are doing. They get another kill in this top lane. Uh, TZ. Already, yeah, he needs to start moving because I don't imagine while this start was decent at top lane, RTZ is still not getting good CS, and he's kind of the big carry they played around throughout this tournament. Three in top game brought very, very low with the Sora. He keeps himself alive. One more tick from the Thunder Strike will bring him down, but the bigger kill could be this Medusa. Nice two man boulder smash. He's got a big magic wand, yeah, and does not have Metamorph. If RTZ has. Metamorph there could have been a very different story. Nice connect field will get some extra damage out, but this is where Undying coming in from behind. Looking for the support. You don't really want to touch this Medusa, who's so incredibly tanky. And yeah, they're going to find the Tusk. Snowball to buy some time here, but Arteezy waits for him to pop out, then gets a couple right clicks off the Boulder Smash to help get the kill. Arteezy gets his second kill of the game. BGJ want to punish. They're chasing, looking for Misery, who has been slowed down by the Spirit Siphon. That's a Death Prophet TP, though, so it doesn't really feel like it's worth it just for an Undying kill could be the target of their choosing. They do have to be very aware of the fact that Yang is close to six. Uh, AO will die here, but any more deep dives that EG make. Top lane, meanwhile, that's easy. Being initiated on by Freeze with the death problem. The silence coming out as well. No Sunder, he's still just level four, and he gets brought down. Much like Medusa, wanting to find some experience. Top lane, Misery, though. Thinking he's got some alone time to get some levels of his own, getting gone on here. We're seeing a lot of these kind of underleveled heroes left alone to stun out. He may have found the kill. Top lane, meanwhile, Exorcism. They've gone in on the Death Prophet here. They're going to bring her down through the ultimate. That is not what you want to see if you're BGJ. They're going to get the Disruptor kill as well. Ayo, very low movement speed. The Orb of Venom slowing him down. The Decay giving them a little bit extra damage. And here comes a kick from Crit. And initiated. Sila kick back in the mid lane. Arteezy there. No minimal for a couple more seconds. They do need the Nyx Assassin, it yeah. feels like, and that's exactly who's showing up. Fia takes the end. There's the Ravage. The Ravage, it gets oh, silence. silence. Oh, nicely played. Now, TZ's got Metamorph, but kind of defensive Ravage. Perhaps with Death Rope coming in, they can turn this one. They want to bring down Fear. Hasn't got Carapace up, but it's Kama Freeze on the Death Prophet. Spirit siphoning himself back to a bit more health here, but the chase is on Zumail and TZ. Slow him down the reflection, get the kill on the Death Prophet. Back in the river, Fade on the run as well, and Crit may be able to bring him down. Stun, roll, no silence needed initially. Has the Earth Charges as well. There's going to be a Snowball in Fear Carapace, but he still goes down. A small consolation prize for BGJ, unless they can get more. The body block from Misery, trying to bail Crit out here, who does have a roll in a couple of seconds, and also Sumail to help them out, so. For example, in the last game, Radiance even though it went 70 top, minutes, the kill score attack. was relatively low. I feel like this series is more about attack. just whether you're you're more farmed Dyer's than the enemy cores and whether you have map control. And I feel like Nyx Assassin is just maybe yep. the answer they, they need for this kind of game. See another uh, TZ Battle Fury build on Terra Blade. He set GPM records in that last game of his with the, this build. But it's not about the Terra Blade, it's mid lane where VGJ want to mount their defense. They've gone in on crit, they will get 
A decent what initiation. A yeah, great kick. will buy him some time, but he still goes down. He's doing incredible damage with the Magnetize. Just doesn't seem like there's enough follow-up. Huck does not want to commit to this one. Perhaps with Misery getting a lot of decays out. Yes, you may have actually join himself in, but he may have done so into his own death. Oh, 17 what a storm. more charges, and with the Static Storm onto Sumail, he's actually dead. He will regret that jaunt into the enemy. Mid lane right. rolling again. Yep. Immediate silence. The burst damage is there. That they know they're here. Coming in from behind with a tombstone. They go in the disruptor, trying to take the static storm out of the fight. They're well, not quite successful. Here comes the ravage on the tomb. And BGJ have responded well, taking out both Nyx and Earth Spirit. They need to get a little bit more here. They did commit both Exorcism and Ravage, and it looks like they will get misery yeah. as well. Is, and that's is that enough, do you think? For VGJ. As he will scout out the task bottom lane. Misery actually came in and I think Fear is just gonna leave him to to die as was not expecting that kind of backup, but getting one or two seems reasonable. Well, push back mid, tied. Can they bring him down? He's very tanky. This is where he's happy. He does not have a Midas. That Meteor Hammer, though, not gonna hit. Off the mark. Potential glimpse back onto Fear to set up a Static Storm here. Are they gonna go for it? The Boulder Smash, perhaps preventing it, they still get the glimpse. No Static Storm needed. He throws a Carapace right away. Still getting put going on underneath the tower here with Ravage back up. BGJ want to force this mid lane tier one tower. Our team All right, well, hopefully we get oh, right yeah, back Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yep. The teams are ready to go. Hop back in. Camera, yes. get off us. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to look at our faces. They've gone in. They're looking to burst down this Medusa. Is the damage there? The Tide instantly TPs in and EG smartly disengaged. They weren't even going to be able to burst the Medusa, it looked like, without the Terra Blade there. Crypt may pay for this as well. Arteezy didn't even continue going bottom. He swung mid to take a tier one. Yeah, he did knew immediately then. Ooh, Arteezy's gonna get caught here. Snowball's gonna be there. And they bring him down. He gets pulled back into a silence, and Arteezy caught out. If he I, pops, he will get spotted by this ward immediately. By the way, Fade is uh, has a blink dagger, so he could snowball and jump out. They see him, the Shadow Blade initiation from Arteezy. He's there with the silence. They burst down the tusk. He's done for Sila. He can't pop the Stone Gaze because of the Mask of Madness for now. Boulder Smash goes through, clips Yang on the Tide, who doesn't have much mana to work with for this fight. Almost a, a perfect Tombstone bait of sorts. It's Misery getting glimpsed back, not the perhaps ideal target. And Fear also caught in nice shots. Bit of a standoff here as the Atos chase is on. Fear getting tossed up in the air with the Walrus Punch. He may go down here with the Silence. He can't really do a whole lot. And EG on oh, the full back. retreat. They have Gush yeah. available in a couple seconds. Crit, there's really no way for him to counterplay this. Not that I think of. Has got a stun. And will hit okay. four, but yeah, not going to go in. Is Sumail going to go for it, Lumi? He pretty much has to, I feel like. And they, here comes the buyback. Yep, Exorcism is going to be used. The first orb going to scout out. Now he knows how low Roche is, as well as the TB Illusion, giving some good intel. Sumail going in from the north. Ayo has a static storm. He can drop that on Roche. Nice blink, War is punch. He catches Sumail with the silence. Sumail needs to use his yules defensively. In goes Crit. He snatches the Aegis. Crit's done it. He's bought some time. They take out the Tombstone to deal with this fight. It's going to be a dead undying, but they've lost Disruptor on the side, as well as Tusk. It's EG coming out on top of the Roche fight. Costs him. Metamorph coming back up shortly. He's got a BKB as well, so not as worried about things like the Ravage. Exorcism comes out to Mail. Just trying to take out the creep whip, but it's 30 minutes. Double siege creep. The timing for this push could not have been better from BGJ as they will look to take out the tombstone. They impale, they go in the what death prophet, but yeah, snowball save is there as well as setting up a kill on fear. Nicely done from Fade. But look at the top lane of Rax. Arteezy's trying to go for a base trade. He's gonna do a ton of damage to that Pushes tower. Very, very fast, Lumi. It is a good old-fashioned base trade. BGJ need to start thinking about, do we defend? Tusk is TP back, trying to deal with our TC here. They take down the mid-racks themselves. Top lane going down, it is a one racks for one racks trade. He needs to cancel this TP on RTZ, but RTZ with a Shadow Blade just no gets out of there. So, yeah. Can yeah. BGJ get more back in the mid lane? They're looking to finish off Crit with the Glimpse back. They don't, well, they won't even need the Glimpse back. From BGJ. Oh, God. And they have Ravage available. Who are they going to go in here? They pop it. Misery may just be left for dead. I think this is a, a hero you just you let die. Yes, you've got this Metamorph going, but no, they want to fight this one. They're trying to take the fight. EG. Arteezy goes in with BKB. Can they burst silent? He can't use his ultimate. He's been silent. Arteezy wants to get the kill of Medusa. He's lost the Metamorph, though. He's back in melee form. And with that, he may be done for. Silent still incredibly low. He gets brought down. Arteezy on the run. Yule stuff needs to find a Sunder target. He's got a Manta style, but he's been chain stunned. 
by VGJ. They've lost the Terra Blade. On the run is Crit, who gets blocked off by VGJ. Misery dead as well. And to Mail, he's just trying to pull this creep wave away. Um, that was the 10 second one. They lost the fight. And the reason that is important is that's pretty much how much time he gets to right click before he gets ravaged. Smoke that is his VG. only defensive uh, tool. They're going to go on Silar. They saw the disruptor. They did not want to go on him. They're looking for bigger prey. And it is Silar. He's got Stone Gaze again. They get the sound. He immediately four stabs up, though. Are they going to chase this one? Sumail gets hexed up. He could be in trouble. The static sword to fall up. Sumail on the puck. Yules himself defensively. Arteezy pops the ultimate. BKBs, but he cannot do any damage because of this stone gaze. He does not want to get turned to stone. Fear, impale, and run. Drops a carapace, but he's still in trouble. Very, very low. The gash will finish him off. And Arteezy, he's the last hope, but without a BKB, he's still in a bit of trouble here. Has Ravage a in to five. play around with. Sunder's fave wants to get this kill, but he's being hexed up. Ravage. Ravage comes out. EG get hit by absolutely a crushing team fight here. They've lost four immediate buyback from the puck of Sumail, and this does not look good. Sumail even jaunted back into this one. And now he gets glimpsed back into oh, the fight. Sumail's going to get control. He has Yules. He has FaZe. I think he can make it out of here. He needs to actually blink. Okay, he blinks away. He orbs. I think you just ignore him. Go push a lane. You've got four dead. Yeah. Sumail and that will TP himself home. Boy, oh boy, is that spell trouble for EG. It's a small gold deficit, but we're just seeing team fight after team fight go VGJ's way and with Aegis cheese well, in VGJ's hands, potentially. We have seen Crit do it before. Let's see if he do it again. Yep, they know there's no Ravage. They want to take this fight, but Fear's has been caught in the Static Storm. He looks like he should be going down here. Drops a Meteor Hammer just to do some damage before he's taken out. Frozen Sigil is... On cooldown Eight for a while. Eight seconds, no Tide Ravage. Can they do this quick enough? It looks like the answer is yes. They'll get the Aegis and the Cheese. Stone Gaze is used. Arteezy does not need to fight into this one. Throws the Reflection out. And we'll wait for this to wear off. Nice Boulder Smash going through. Catches the Medusa. The Medusa in trouble. EG. Gonna go chasing now. No Stone Gaze to worry about. Arteezy, BKBs, charges forward. Potential Ravage once his BKB wears off. The Warren Punch will buy some time. Can they bring down Arteezy? The answer is yes. He won't have Metamorphosis. Even though he's got Aegis, this could still be bad for EG. Sumail in the front line is doing a ton of damage as well as the Magnetite from the Earth Spirit. Ateezy gets the Sunder up, but he's still in some trouble. He gets kicked back from Crit, trying to keep him alive. Sunder, EG, Ateezy, he silver edges. He takes out the Disruptor. He gets back to safety. Can he get out of this one, slowing them with the Reflection? He could maybe even turn around. He does he have the Bloodthorn to. back up, and now the heal HP. Silar is still very is low. So low. Oh, he's gonna go for kill. The Hex is gonna be there. Can he actually get off? He has Yule Scepter in a couple seconds. Arteezy really looking to man fight, and that's gonna be the kill on Freeze. On the back line, Arteezy Silar died. being chased. And I don't think they're gonna get Silar. He has way too much. And now Sumail, that's gonna be a dieback on Sumail. Fear has been corralled in as well. He has very low mana. He has no teleport scroll. Fear is gonna go down with the rest of EG. What just happened? They got VGJ so low. That was incredibly close to being an EG victory. All they needed was a bit more damage to kill off Silo, but... Deuce is gonna pick up a double damage. Oh boy, let's go. Unfortunately for Arteezy, he really needed to get that cheese off during his first life because that's his metamorph life. He respawns yes. and doesn't have metamorph up. Oh, Rapier. Medusa wants to end this game, Lumi. We've got ourselves a Rapier. They're going for the tier three, tier fours. They are so close to securing a 3-0 over EG right now. VGJ looking for some revenge. No Puck, no Nyx Assassin. Can EG defend? Arteezy, he's been hexed up. He can't get the sun dropped. It looks like this is it. EG! GG. They call it. They have been 3-0'd by a resilient VGJ team. Bouncing back from the lower bracket. They've done it.